Campi Flegre volcano in southern Italy is becoming weaker and more prone to rupturing, making an eruption more likely, according to a new study conducted by researchers at UCL, University College London, and Italy's National Research Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV. The volcano, which last erupted in 1538, has been in turmoil for more than 70 years, with two-year spikes in unrest in the 1950s, 1970s and 1980s, and slower phases of unrest over the past decade. Tens of thousands of small earthquakes have occurred during this period and the coastal town of Pozzuoli has been lifted by almost 4 meters, 13 feet, about the height of a double-decker bus. The new study, published in the journal Communications Earth and Environment, uses a volcanic rift model, developed at UCL, to interpret patterns of earthquakes and ground uplift, and concludes that parts of the volcano have stretched almost to their breaking point. Lead author Professor Christopher Kilburn, UCL Earth Sciences, said, our new study confirms that Campi Flegre is getting closer to the rupture. It still needs to be pushed to the right location for an eruption to occur. This is the first time we have applied our model, which is based on the physics of how rocks break apart, in real time on any volcano. We first used this model in 2017 and since then Campi Flegre has behaved as we predicted, with an increasing number of small earthquakes indicating pressure from below. This study is the first to estimate the eruption of an active volcano. This marks a step change in our goal to improve eruption forecasting worldwide. Nicola Alessandro Pino of the Vesuvius Observatory, representing INGV in Naples, said, Our results show that parts of the volcano are becoming weaker. This means that the mountain may break apart even though the pressure pulling it apart is less than before. During the last crisis 40 years ago, Campi Flegre is the closest active volcano to London. It is not an obvious volcano because, instead of growing into a traditional mountain, it takes the form of a 12 to 14 kilometers, 7.5 to 8.5 miles, long gently sloping depression, and is therefore known as a caldera. This explains why 360,000 people now live on its roof. Over the past decade, the ground level beneath Pozzuoli has risen by about 10 cm per year. Continuous small earthquakes were also recorded for the first time since the mid-1980s. More than 600 cases were recorded in April, the largest monthly number so far. The disturbance is caused by the movement of fluid about 3 km two miles below the surface. Some of the fluid may be molten rock, or magma, and some may be natural volcanic gas. The final phase of the unrest appears to have been caused by magmatic gas seeping into cracks in the rock, filling the three kilometers thick crust like a sponge. Earthquakes occur when faults, cracks, slip due to stretching of the Earth's crust. The pattern of earthquakes in 2020 shows that the rock is responding in an inelastic way, that is, breaking, not bending. Stefania Danese of INGV Bologna said, We cannot see what is happening underground. Instead we have to decipher the clues provided by volcanoes, such as earthquakes and land uplifts. Campi Flegre's current tensile strength, the maximum stress a material can withstand before breaking when stretched, is likely about one-third of its tensile strength in 1984, the researchers said. The team emphasized that an eruption cannot be avoided. Stefano Carlino of the Vesuvius Observatory explains, 
similar things happen to all volcanoes that have been quiet for generations. Campi Flegre will probably settle into a new routine of slowly rising and falling, as has happened at similar volcanoes around the world, or back again. To have a rest. We can't say for sure yet what will happen, 